everybody, it's Audrey and today I'm going to share with you uh, my take on the September sketch for Creative Scrappers, which is a super fun sketch. And this month, um, Creative Scrappers has been sponsored by Cuts to Love, which creates some awesome, beautiful flair and I believe that they are based out of Canada. So um, go check out the Cuts to Love store. And there was a quick peek at the sketch. So I am using the crepe paper um, cool kid um, line, which is kind of a boy themed line. And I have cut some circles out from the different pattern papers. I'm using my silhouette and I have th the three photos that I'm going to use that um, you can see in the sketch um, for the three squares. So I was, wasn't very sure about using this kind of darker um, star paper for the background because I always tend to use just end up using white cardstock but I've been really trying to make to push myself a little bit to use colored backgrounds or different um, just backgrounds I wouldn't normally use and so this is a little bit different for me um, in terms of using a different colored background but I'm happy with it it's it, it comes out good at the end um, so I'm just going through all the of course I bought everything in this collection <laughs> all the little um, ephemera bits and stickers and um, die cuts and all that. So I am going through all those different pieces just trying to find some things that will uh, fit the theme of my page, which is about my little guy. And I'll tell you the story at the end, which is kind of hysterical. Um, so I'm just going down, I'm just gluing down these circles just a little bit. Um, and I'm going to stitch over them to help hold them in place. So you can see I've stitched over them here just with a whole bunch of random lines. And I'm just going around the edges and kind of roughing up the edges with my fingernails um, just to give it a little bit more texture. Um, and now I'm going to add some teal mist. This is the Heidi Swap uh, teal, one of my favorite colors. And I love how it, when it's on like this, the darker pattern paper, how it gives, how it just has that shimmer to it. Um, the 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 shimmer in it really stands out um, on the darker background. Um, this page actually came together really fast for me. I think it's because I'm working with a sketch and I had my photos printed out um, and I knew exactly, um, you know, how the design was going to be. So I decided to highlight that last photo by putting the chipboard frame over it and I'm going to embellish that a little bit with a few little boy um, saying and phrases. And one thing here is you'll notice that that tag that says boys will be boys is pretty white. Um, and then the circle I cut out, um, the really thin circle I cut out of white cardstock, the one that's kind of in the background there. But some of the other elements on here are cream colored, like a, an off-white. And I know that drives some people crazy to have, I have a particular friend in mind who I'm thinking about who it drives crazy when, I, when you mix like a white and a cream color and an off-white. But I actually kind of liked how it looked on this page. So um, you'll see that I try to make sure that I have white and cream accents um, all over different parts of the page. So I am trying to create a visual triangle. So I have that cluster on the bottom by um, the bottom left with the tag and the um, phrase um, cut out there and the little red kind of lightning bolt circle. And then I have the cluster around the chipboard um, photo frame and then I'm going to create a, um, another little cluster in the top left of the page as well. I am just going through finding some stars to add and now I know there are stars in the background and actually I'm going to accent those stars in a little bit which you'll see on the background but I'm just adding a couple um, going around finding some other stars on the sticker pages and the um, chipboard and and the little um, like this little bag of, it came with some like sequin stars and some like enamel shapes and um, things like that. So I'm going to add those in as well. I, because this page was kind of, there were the patterns were busy in the paper and the photos were busy. I don't really do a ton of embellishing. Um, I just add a few things in each cluster. So I have a yellow Sharpie and I am going around just adding a like um, dotted line around the edge of that boys will be boys tag just to help um, kind of make it stand out more and I felt that I have the yellow which is in the star 
above the, the um, photo with the chipboard frame. And I have that yellow lightning bolt um, by the boys will be boys tag. And then I have a little tiny yellow star up in the top left. So I wanted to make sure I had um, yellow bits um, out at, at that on that visual triangle. I am pulling out some uh, stickers from my stash. These are some old basic gray stickers. And I didn't want to make the title um, too big. I'm having a hard time getting off these teeny tiny stickers. Um, but I did, you know, want it to be kind of visible, so that's why I'm using the white stickers. And again, I'm creating that visual triangle with the white in all three areas. Now at this point, I actually say to myself, well, after I add these enamel dots, you know what, I think I'm done. And I went and I took pictures of my layout, and I'm like, okay, this is great. And then I totally forgot <laughs> to add in my flare because Cuts to Love, it was our sponsor this month, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot to put that flare in there. So I'm gonna go back in here in a minute and um, add my flare and add my um, date and my journaling too because this story is um, kind of funny. So here's where I think, okay, I'm done. After I just add this little bit of twine, but I'm actually not done. So it was like, probably a week later that I went back and realized that <clears throat> I hadn't added those other things in. So I've added, I, I journaled. I journaled on my tag and I'm gonna stick it behind the photo there because it was kind of a little bit long of a long story, but um, I, uh, I obviously all this stuff was already glued down. So I'm kind of doing a little um, operation here on my page and I'm going to cut a slit underneath um, the photo with an X-Acto knife and just big enough to slide my tag down behind the photo. So here's the back of the layout and I kind of had scored a little bit of a line of where I wanted the cut to be. And I'm, you can see there, it's kind of starting to tear. I didn't want to cut through and get the photo on the other side. So um, like I said, this is kind of a delicate operation, but it works out just fine. Um, sometimes I want, like I, I, I have an issue with um, hidden journaling sometimes, especially if it's a story that I really want to play up. Um, you know, I ask myself, do I really want this to be hidden? Is anybody ever going to read it? Because it is such a, a cute story. But, you know, in this case, I, I had to hide it somewhere because it was just so much journaling. The back of that tag is written on as well. So that um, you can see the tag sticking out there. And I am making a little pocket on the back just so that the tag doesn't fall all the way through. So I just cut out a piece of scrap paper and I'm just gonna tape it down so that there's a little pocket on the back there for that tag. In case ever, anybody ever takes it out and actually reads the journaling, which who knows if that will ever happen. So um, also you can see on here, um, oh, here's the um, flare from Cuts to Love. Isn't it gorgeous? I had the perfect one. Um, this, the, the, there was one that was kind of had the blue and the red in it. Um, and then this one I'm, I have on the page right now has some, um, just white and gray. That one right there, I just sat down. It's absolutely perfect for this collection. They all are. I mean, they, I had so many choices, um, choices that, cause I, I did buy a whole bunch. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it was great to pick through these. The ones I, all the ones I chose kind of had like, um, kind of like a mixed media feel, like paint splatters and, um, you know, simple, or not simple, but, um, you know, kind of paint designs or, or artsy designs, I guess I should say. So, and I'm going to put one of those at each of my points of my, um, my visual triangle. I was also going to say, you can see kind of, especially on the right, the top right corner of my photo with the frame on it. On the background there, you can see that I actually went through and did some hand stitching, um, with, some white thread and I stitched over the design of some of the stars in the background and I did that at each point of my visual triangle you'll see some of those stars um, that I um, highlighted with some white thread and hand stitching. I'm just using some 3D Zots and um, which are glue dots from Thermoweb and adding them to the backs of my flare to help them stand off the page a little bit more they give a little bit of dimension and that wraps it up, and I, add the date, I added the date and the date stamp as well. So let me tell you a little bit about this story. 
I was just trying to snap some quick photos of my mom and dad and my kids were just, uh, this is at our, uh, the cottage in the summer, we're just sitting around. I was like, let me take some pictures. So I just started snapping a whole bunch of photos at once. Now watch my son. Here we have the slight butt cheek lift, if you look at him, and he lets one rip. And that's everybody's faces. <laughs> and then this is his reaction after he looks at everybody else's face. So um, I had to show you those photos because they're hysterical. And here is my finished page. Um, yeah, so look at that awesome flare. Isn't that perfect? It's awesome. And there you can see some hand stitching and stuff. So thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed.